Okay, I'm getting ready to show you some gameplay from about five, maybe seven different games on the OLED. I am using the camera I'm using right now, the Sony ZV-1. It's a point and shoot, I'm shooting this in 4K, 30 frames per second. I'll also render it in 4K, 30 frames per second. All of the games that I'm going to show will be running at 60 to 120 frames. Um, obviously, looking at it on camera, you're not going to be able to see all the detail, but I think I captured some good moments with HDR just to showcase the brightness. Now, this video is based on a couple of viewers requesting that they see some more gameplay. I know that this is a new TV. A lot of people don't have it, and... I wanted to go ahead and get it out there. I stalked this TV for a long time. Last year I got the CX, even before that the C9. All the way back to 2015, I still have an EF9500 65 inch OLED. So it's not my first rodeo. The G1 is gonna be brighter for you. If you are in a situation where you're living in a room that's got a lot of natural light, that's what you're gonna to wanna to get. If you have a controlled light space like I do, the C1 is a great option for you. You save a lot of money, get the same picture quality pretty much because I've seen them both next to each other. Um, but yeah, if you have any more suggestions or comments, let me know. It is Monday, Sunday, Easter, and uh, this is going up on Monday. Today's video is going to be us talking about and showing a little bit of gameplay um, on the actual TV. But really quick, this build right here features ryzen 9 5900 x um and 3090 as a combo so first off obviously don't put your pc on carpet but again this is for testing purposes um but some of the settings in the tv when you go to if you're using a pc you're going to go to display settings you'll be met with two separate resolution options the first is going to be as you see here um son take it down right there you want to go down to pc so son go to 3840 by 2160 the reason you do that is because the top 3840 by 2160 uh max is at 60 hertz this one is uh, 120 hertz or 100 hertz as you can see so go ahead and apply that and then you're going to need to accept or hit yes thank you i need you to go over to setup g-sync great 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 uh, that's already set up. Um, as I said in the start of this video, this was already connected to a gaming monitor. All right, we're going to start with an oldie but goodie. This is Destiny. Now, the reason for this is because I know that there's about to be a flood of different videos with this TV, uh, this and the G1. But the yeah, look at that. I'm telling you, you just can't see it in person. But that the way that sound was posted was crazy. Um, but I wanted to show some realistic gameplay, you know. Um, one thing I want to point out, you're concerned about like static images. That frame rate counter is like more dull. It'll brighten itself up. The TV has a mode set where it'll take a static image and it'll reduce and increase the brightness just so that it doesn't stick. So doing this because a subscriber requested to see what this looked like with the lights on, so let's give you an angle shot. It's in 4K, 120 frames per second. Um, all the settings up. Now, G-Sync is on, so obviously it's not going to be locked at 120 all the time, but... All right, that's Destiny. On to the next game. All right, and here we go with Resident Evil 3. And let me tell you, the colors are ridiculous. That green just pops. HDR is absolutely beautiful. I'm just gonna wait here because there should be a scene where the lightning thunder hits. Just gonna wait for that. As we wait for this, just give you an angle shot. Super detailed, it's really clean. Okay. okay, you can just keep moving around, it's fine. Yeah, 
walk up to that door. This right here. Okay, so go closer to that. Go back some. Like right there, if you yourself physically were to stand in front of this, this is really bright, like really, really bright. So the HDR is good on this. It's got enough nits of brightness. Um, this video again is all about the gaming aspect of the TV. We'll move on to the next game. All right, this is Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath. Beautiful, obviously this is a fighting game. So it's gonna be locked at anywhere from 60 to 61 frames per second. This game does feature HDR. Hold on, stand, stand still. So some of the details that will be representative on this game is gonna be like his shoulder, right? Like that reflection there. Um, the light that's on the shield. There's like a ray of light. Kind of looks like a ray tracing effect, but the HDR really pops on this one. You can go ahead, finish. Try to get the angle shot. I don't know exactly how this is gonna come up. I'm shooting this using a 4K camera. Even though the game is at 60, the camera is recording 4K at 30 frames, so kind of is what it is. We're gonna go on to the next game. Right, this is Tomb Raider Remake. So just give me a look at the uh, settings. 4K, 120 frames or 120 hertz. V-Sync triple buffer. All right, hit the uh, right trigger to go over to advance. Quality is custom. It's because I, I preset it to ultra and then I turned up the, um, the hair works. All right, so you can go ahead and go to the game. This isn't a brand new game, obviously, but um, yeah, anyone is fine. Um, it's not a brand new game, but it's going to be a game that can be used as a reference. You know, if you're playing PlayStation or Xbox and you're playing any single player titles, titles that's going to have HDR. Or... Laura, what the hell happened? The storm. It came out of nowhere. These clouds, they just surrounded the plane. Lana, listen. I saw the crash from here, so you must be close to my position. Again, this just is with the lights here. on. All right. The brightness on this TV is great. It's, it's excellent. Oh I God. own a C, uh, X. It is brighter than a CX. I can tell you that. Hold on. Go back. Go back to... Yeah. Yeah, okay. Go forward a little bit. Like, like there's like this ray of light. Like, there, there's just these little details things that I can notice on this that I know that I didn't see on the CX. Um, and of course the, the G1 is going to be brighter than this, but um, great representation here. All right, and to close this up, we're going to be looking at Streets of Rage, the remake. Um, it's a colorful game. It's no crazy HDR or anything like that, but I'll get up closer to it, so hopefully. Yeah, like, you can, I can see everything perfectly. Try to get up closer on the screen.